Matthew Yates getting ready for the start of the 1500 meters. Due off in about four minutes. Member of Newham and Essex Beagles. Won the European Indoor Door Championship last season. But has had one or two illness problems since. Well, I think Matthew's done two fine days performances to get through to this final. His confidence is growing. He's happier than he was when he first arrived here. And let's, not, let's face it, Matthew's a talent. He's a rare talent. He's the man likely to lead our British middle distance runners back to the highest world level. If he can overcome his occasional lack of confidence, I'm sure, personally, I'm certain he can do that. But I think he's got a chance today. There's got some, there are some fine runners in this race. There's, a, there's the one of them, Nuruddin Morsley, the world champion and world record holder. And I've just been talking to John Walker, former Olympic champion and world record holder for the mile. And John and I both agree that the only person in this race who can beat Morsley is Morsley himself. He's a talent, and if he runs the true race, if he runs to the best of his ability, unlike he did in the Olympic Games, then there's only one man in this race. Albert Seyert of Morocco, Olympic silver medalist last year. Jim Spivey got the bronze in the World Championship in 87. Morsley, Morsley, the reigning world champion against Cacho, the Olympic champion from Spain. Bealey, the 87 world champion, Somalia. Doyle ranked uh, number five in the world, the Australian. The world indoor 3,000 meter champion, Di Napoli. Albasir on the inside, two Moroccans in this. Next to him is Jim Spivey, just standing back slightly, just on the edge of the shot. Matthew Yates, Morsley. He landed up right alongside the Olympic champion, Cacho. Abdi Bili, the 87 world champion. He had a good comeback after some problems. Now 30. There's uh, Simon Doyle, the Australian. 333.39 this year. Mohamed Suleiman, the bronze medalist from Qatar. Bronze medalist in the Olympic Games. Taki of Morocco, fairly new to the international machine. So I haven't seen Stenzel of Germany, did not have the old fan called both the three right on the outside. There's Stenzel. Cacho's gone off very quickly to get a place. 308. Taki, the other Moroccans up there. Did not play on the outside of Italy. Spivey of America, then Matthew Yates of Great Britain. Simon Doyle of Australia. And they've slowed it right down. Well, this won't suit Morsley. It'll probably uh, run better off sustained pace. So. I reckon he's going to have to make the long run for home at some stage because he got caught in the Olympic Games with that. So he had a slight injury, uh, but he was uh, caught by a slow pace. And Cacho has got a tremendous sprint finish. And Spivey now warms it up. 
Well, Spidey moving through there after 300 metres, you realise the pace is going nowhere, and they get so used to running in these Grand Prix meetings that they sometimes find the difference in the world in the championship finals. 60.85 for the first 400 metres, and they'll need a faster pace than that. Mosley realises that himself. He realises that he lost the Olympic Games for bad tactics, and Cacho, the Olympic champion, is right on Mosley's shoulder, tracking him. And looking further down the field, and I see Matthew Yates in a good position to get out there if anything happens up front suddenly. But Matthew should start to move a little bit closer, and Bile moving up behind Matthew Yates. The leader is Taki of Morocco from a 336 this year. Mostly Algeria in second place. Cacho of Spain is third. Spivey America four. Suleiman Qatar five. Doyle Australia six. Di Napoli Italy seven. And in eighth place at the moment, Matthew Yates of Great Britain, followed by Bili of Somalia. Approaching 800 metres. And Taki's beginning to push it. 159.32. Well, mostly now, 700 metres out, he's got to start working his way through to see his way clear to make it a long run for home. We saw him run 51 seconds in the semi-final, and he looked ever so impressive doing that. He looks less impressive when the pace is slow, and the slower they go, the more chance he gives the others. There's Abdi Bili moving up on the outside, the reigning world champion, and Matthew Yates is in a little bit of trouble there. He's no point in trying to come through on the inside. He's got to get out on the outside, and mostly getting ready to make his attack. He's in a really bad position unless he gets a break on the inside. And Morsley makes the attack. Cacho, the Olympic champion, goes with him. Bailey, the 87 world champion there. And Yates has got off the curb and goes into fourth place. Morsley, the defending world champion, followed by Bailey, the 87 world champion, followed by Cacho, the Olympic champion. Matthew Race, Great Britain in fourth place, but losing a bit of ground to the leading three. And Morsley's made the long strike for home we expected. Pacho goes flying into second place, the Olympic champion. Bailey is third, Yates four, Suleiman five. And Morsley beginning to go away again. Pacho in second place, looks for Bailey, and Bailey's closing. Gold for Algeria and Morsley. Caccio takes the silver. Bailey the bronze. And in fourth place, Suleiman. Rafi Yates finished in sixth place. Well, Morsley was, was between him and how much he wanted it. He came up with 400 metres to go, and I've signed him on my own watch on the last 400 metres at 50.47 seconds. That's an incredible pace, but he knew he had to do it from a long way out. And Morsley, the world champion, defends his title, beating the Olympic champion, Cacho, into second place. And there must be a sweet victory for Morsley. Bile, the former world champion, getting one of the medals too. But what a great race that was, and what a great run from Matthew Yates. Sixth place in the world championship final. He'll tell me when, we, when I speak to him next that he's unhappy with that, but deep down, he ran a fine race today. He gave himself every chance. He progressed through the rounds neatly, and Matthew, you've got to be happy with that. That was a good run. Got off of the curb to give himself a chance. 200 metres to go. In fact, they're just beyond that stage now. And Cacho makes a great effort to try and catch Morsley. Got a good change of pace, the Olympic champion, in second place. But Morsley, remorseless. Well, it underlines the class of this field. The world champion, the world record holder in the lead, running 50.5 for the last lap. The Olympic champion in second place, and the former world champion, and a lot of people will be pleased to see Abdi Bili back almost to his best. The former world champion getting the bronze medal. It's a class act. That result will look pretty good when you see it in the result book. But mostly, I said before the race, the only one man that could beat him was himself. His tactics didn't let him down today. He ran a perfect race. And when he's got that sort of speed, I don't see any way that the modern athletes can beat him as long as he keeps healthy and keeps fit. Uh, fourth is Suleiman. I think fifth was Jim Spivey and sixth was Matthew Yates. Well, I hope Morsley's happy that he came here because he, the champ, he needed this win in the championship. To be twice world champion after his failure in the Olympic Games gives him the opportunity to put his name down among the greats 
of middle distance running. I feel his talent is among the greatest that we've seen in middle distance running. He's got some superb ability over 1,500 meters and 3,000 meters, and uh, we haven't seen the best of him yet because he's, uh, he's a youngster. He's got many years left, and he destroys the fields. He makes them like middle, he makes them like long distance fields when he gets into full flow. 50.47. I don't think I've ever seen a lap, a last lap as fast as that from anybody. Really is the dominant figure in world 1500 meter running. World champion and world record holder. Not quite as fast as two years ago, but he's taken the title again. Cacho, the Olympic champion with the silver. Beely, the 87 world champion with the bronze. Matthew Yates in sixth place, 337.61. Well, Matthew Yates in sixth place there. Uh, I thought that was a good good place from the start. His serious international career when he starts to win medals over middle distance, over the 1500 meters. He should take a lot of confidence from this. He handled himself well in the heat, and then again in the semi-final, and then he ran a good race today. He gave himself every chance. Down the back straight, he put himself in fourth place, and if there was any more strength in his legs, he was giving himself a chance to get a medal. And that's all you can do in this sport. You can only do your best. And Matthew did his best today. He gave every ounce of energy he had. And that was a class field. Those three ahead of him. Cacho, Bile in second and third place. And mostly, well, Matthew Yates should be very, very happy when he looks down the results sheet and sees his name amongst those class athletes.